Hi, I just wanted to say that I have an apero in a minute with my friends, a virtual apero because we're in the middle of the coronavirus and I wanted to show you how I put on my makeup. It's very rare that I don't have makeup on, but since everyone's in quarantine at the moment, I thought why not? So, after you've cleaned your face, um, I put on a moisturizer, just a simple one. I use Ola, Ola's, which is Ole, Oil Olay. It's just a really, really easy moisturizer and I always moisturize. The objective of this video is not to show you guys how to do proper makeup job, but to show you how to do a quick one if you're over 50 and you're just having like five minutes. So we're meeting at six o'clock and it is 22 at the moment. So I use Infallible. Enfallible. It's in French, of course, and it's a 24 hour foundation from L'Oreal. So I just put a little bit on my finger, like that. And I have pretty bad uh, puffy eyes all the time. I think it must be hereditary because I have other people in my family with it as well. So I just kind of put a little bit on there. I put it around my nose because it's always a little bit of red. A little bit on my chin. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Because I don't want to look like it's caked up or anything. And then a little bit here. It's very, very light. So I'm just going to spread it in now with my hand. I know this is like against a lot of people's religion. is They use all sorts of other things. But so that's as far as I go with it. It's very, very light. I don't want it to make it look caked up, so I'm just going to wash my hands now because I don't want to keep spreading that foundation around. And then I use, this is one of my favorite, favorite things. I use this all the time. This is a Revlon Lip Stain Stick. It just comes out like this and I just do like that there and then it, it lasts for hours and hours and hours which is great. I haven't had it on in a long time. I put on some blush. So this one is, um, what is the name of that? Dark Treasure and this is, uh, what is the name of that? There's a, there's a new a makeup place, Kiko, I think it is. And I bought it there. It's quite dark, but I like to look like I'm wearing something. That might be my age as well. And then <clears throat> I use a black liner. Uh, this one is Astra, 24 hours. So this one also stains a little bit. Um, so it lasts a little bit longer. I got this about a month ago, so I haven't used it a lot, but it seems to go on pretty smooth like this. Now I'm, <clears throat> I, I've always put on my eyeliner first and then I've put on my eyeshadow and I've been watching videos recently and they say to do the opposite so um, I'm sort of going back and forth. I haven't had makeup on in a few days because of this coronavirus. Even though we're not sick, I'm just avoid going out. Hold on, I need to, to not lean towards the camera because I'm making a mess now. Let me do what I normally do. All right, I'm not doing a very good job of this because I'm not familiar with this particular pencil. There. Let me just smooth it out because I've made a bit of a mess there. That sort of blends it in as well. And then I put it underneath on the tear line. Just a little bit. There. And then I put on my eyeshadow. This is a Cover Girl one. This I've had for ages. It's like copper. I love it. It goes with everything. It gives a little bit of shine as well. And because I put the eyeliner on first, it kind of sticks to it a little bit. So that it um, looks like I've got more eyeliner around the bottom. Don't worry, I'm going to blend it in afterwards. I'm just trying to get it in. And I put a little bit just under the bottom lashes. 
them. Okay, so that would be my super simple one. So now we're gonna go a little bit further. So this, this would normally, I would be done and I can go out. This is how, I don't even know how, that was like four minutes. Um, so now if I'm gonna make it a little bit more special, I'm gonna put on a dark brown, um, uh, what is it called? This is Pupa. This is like a brown and copper together and I'm just gonna go in the fold bit of the eye here and I'll blend it in afterwards. You see that? So I'm gonna blend it in afterwards. It just, it, I think it makes it look a little bit more special when you're going out. I have had a few compliments from people when I've done that. So I, I'm sorry, again, I'm just blending with my finger because that's how I've always done it. And old habits die hard. Okay, and then the final thing, so I just washed my hands again, is I'm gonna put on mascara, which I don't like to put on every day because I find that some people get those little white, like little uh, spots around their eyes when they can't get their makeup off and it starts to embed and it's blocking the pores. So this is the mascara I have, and this is again from Kiko, K-I-K-O and uh, it's the smallest little tiniest brush you can get. And I said to the woman, I want one that works well. I don't want one that's like little. Just, no, but this one is really good because it actually does every lash. Hold on, I've just got the end of it there. So um, I'll just do like that. I'll show you one eye done and one eye not done so you can see. But it's, it is, um, easier to apply than those ones with the big brushes. So this is already the, just the top lash. And I've got a little bit on the bottom. Not a lot. So this is one eye done and one eye not done. And I think it just, just adds a little bit of glamour to go out, which is good. And uh, since I haven't seen anybody in weeks, apart from you know family members, I thought, well, I'll dress up for our virtual apero that is going to be held in a minute with my girlfriend. I said, I told him, I said, oh yeah, I'll put on some makeup. I was thinking of doing a joke and doing some like funny face painting, but I can't find my face paint, so. There you go. So I think that looks pretty good for me. That's it. And that was a total of seven minutes with a little bit of extra blah blah. But at five, four or five minutes, I'm done with my normal one. All I need now are some earrings and I'm set to go. So now it's the end of the evening, it's uh, 10 to 11 and I think I'm going to go to bed a little early and this is what my makeup looks like now. After I have had dinner, I have not reapplied the lipstick so this is what it looks like. Now it has still a little bit of a stain even though there's nothing there. Uh, the eyeliner seems to have held up well. I've been laying down on the sofa, so normally it would be like all smudged and stuff. So I think that worked out pretty well. And uh, not too bad for a few hours, but normally I can put this on in the morning and it still looks pretty good all day. Okay, so I wanted to show you how I take my makeup off. I started to do a little bit already, but I still have some on. So I got this at Lidl and it is a micellar water. And it's really nice because it's got this little push top on it. And these are the reusable uh, makeup remover pads that a friend of mine makes, which are really great, a um, package of seven. And uh, I just basically, just without any water, I just kind of give a little scrub at the same time. It's 
not the most glamorous thing to watch, but I use it like three, three times. Put some cold water in. Feels great already. There we go, and I'm ready for a good night. So, see you later. Bye. The part is I actually put on some cream before I go to bed. It can still be the the oil of Ola. Las or Ole as they say in the US or a little bit stronger. I've got this one that's like a hydrating mask and that's really nice to put on as well. But any cream, after I've given my face a good wash, then I'll put on a cream and go to bed. Good night. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, press on the like button and subscribe to follow Lisa and hopefully I'll see you again. Bye.